Hello, hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing and all that good stuff. We're going to get right into this, okay? I feel like it's an ancestor message want to come through. We're going to get some messages from the ancestors, but I'm hearing, um, I'm about to pull a key dough, lay down on the floor with the keys and the, everybody got the flow. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting like, or if you believe in whatever you believe in, for somebody, this is, I'm hearing warring angels. They coming in. They not playing. Yeah, uh, they about to banish. Banish somebody out of your life for good. The past life guides are helping you with karmic cycles. So new doors and opportunities are coming towards you. You are a communicator. You have a message to deliver. You have a message. You are a messenger. Am I so getting um spider's web symbol symbolizes destiny and mortality. Also fate and how life brings people together in a unforeseenable way. So you could be seeing a lot of spider webs. Let's get a message from the ancestors. I get a message. Yeah, they're banishing like, I'm getting like you're coming into alignment. You most definitely are connected, interconnectedness. And I'm also getting something about people that are not on the same frequency as you. They're getting banished out of your life for good. And you're coming into alignment with more balanced uh, individuals, grounded individuals. Something about embrace chaos and find peace. Embrace the chaos to find peace. Yeah, do not dwell on the past. Move forward. Embrace that chaos. You know, we've all been through drama, but don't let that hold you. Don't let that hold you back from moving forward. Keep moving forward and never give up. True fulfillment comes from helping others. Like I said, you could have been dealing with uh, a lot of people that were not on the same vibration as you. And um, it was almost like it was a take, take, take or a draining situation for you. Because you are like a infinite individual. An infinite individual is selfless. You know, they are a humanitarian. And your true fulfillment comes from helping others. And that's part of your destiny. But it's like you dwelling on the past is holding you back from your destiny. Because your past, you could have been dealing with a lot of low vibrational energy vampires. And you just like... You done kind of closed yourself off and you, you think everybody's bad, but everybody's not bad, okay? Everybody, everybody's not bad. There's still some good people in the world. And I'm getting like, you could be holding back from your goals, your passion, because of what you've been through, but that's part of your destiny of connecting with people and helping others. Yeah, what others say and think of you is none of your business. Collective spider. Okay, so spider is real significant right now. Spider meaning artistic, artistry, artistry, okay. <laughs> artistry, manifestations, patience, feminine power, ancient wisdom, illusion, and interconnectedness. What that say? Oh, balance. It's a little water spot right here. Balance, interconnectedness, and also unbelievable strength. Like I said, spider. You could be seeing a spider or you are... Um, spiders are also your ancestors. They symbolize your ancestors. So you got like some type of ancient power, ancient wisdom. 
Yeah, you come from a long, strong lineage of powerful females. Yeah, and they telling you don't dwell on the past, move forward. Okay, they wronged you. Okay, accept it for what it is. You know, it may come up. Okay, acknowledge that and accept it for what it is and move forward, okay? Don't dwell on the hurt, the anger, the pain. All that does is bring you down and hold you back. That creates strongholds too as well. Keep moving forward. Don't matter. It does not matter whatever the naysayers are saying. Just uh, be you. Be authentically you. Yeah, because you have this unbelievable, undeniable strength of like never giving up. I don't know. It's like you so determined. I don't know. But your ancestors love it. They love it. Yeah, and they're saying take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. So make sure you take care of yourself so you can take care of others. Somebody need to change their diet. Eat. Eat. Watch what you eat. Something you're eating is toxic, but I was about to say drink more tea. strength and power. Well, didn't I just say that? Make sure you love yourself more. Just say that too. Take care of yourself. Because you are a mentor or coach and a teacher. Like I said, you, 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 you help others. You mentor others. You take care of others. You do something for others carelessly. You hear me? I mean, not carelessly. Selflessly. Something. Okay, careless. What's careless? Carelessness. Okay, that needs improvement. Improvement. Excuse me. Being careless. Okay. People forget that being kind, nice, and polite doesn't cost a thing. So, uh, just being, you know, kind of like naive. Like I said, uh, being careless, like, uh, with your time, your energy, giving time and energy to others, people that don't deserve it is what I'm getting. Yeah, you could have needed to improve that. And also somebody that keeps dwelling on the past on and you're trying to improve something, but spirit is like, you got all the tools you need. You, you got everything, whatever it is, just go. You don't have to improve something. It could be like you trying to worry about how you speak or how people take you or whatever. Spirit is saying that does not even matter. Just get out there and put it out there. Yeah, and I'm getting some about carelessness when it comes to yourself. Like I said, you have to take care of yourself. And make sure you're protecting yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Yeah, something about your house. Something about your house. What, what is that? Your house. Trust that God is in control. Protect your energy. Your options are endless. You deserve a pat on the back. Your house, you're in control of your vessel. And trust that God is in control. You right where you belong, is what I'm getting. You are right where you belong. Yeah, you deserve a pat on the back. Like I said, protect your energy. You could be, like I said, being careless with your energy. Yeah, your energy is real powerful, collective. You got to, you know, be stingy. With your energy now. Somebody needs to be put on a budget when it comes to you giving them your energy. Promote purpose, serenity, and courage. That's what you um 
You're protected from any evil being sent your way. Make peace with your past so it won't affect your future. I'm telling you. Spirit said, keep moving forward. Quit going back to the past. Oh, well, all that shoulda, woulda, coulda. Excuse me. I'm going to give you some harsh, straightforward. <laughs> Straight shot, no chaser. You hear me? Look, leave that shit where it is. That shit is hindering you. Excuse me. But I'm just keeping it 100, okay? You got to leave it in the past. Okay, they, oh, well, they, they did what they did. God is in control. You hear me? They're going to get what they deserve, just like you deserve your pat on the back for overcoming this situation. They're going to get what they, what they deserve just as well. You are protected from any evil being sent your way. So move forward. It's for your better, greater good. Like I said, embrace the chaos so you can find peace. I hope I'm being clear. Embrace the chaos so you can find peace. Okay, you wake up. We got free spirit. Oh. You wake up and you bump your toe and you you you, you drop that and you break the I don't know. It's like something it's like somebody got like a real chaotic energy. But once you like calm down, somebody need to pray and meditate to as well. I find that balance within self, your mind, your heart, your soul. You hear me? I'm getting something about um, water and land. Somebody's very connected to water and land. But it's like you need to find that balance so things can flow. Somebody needs to get grounded so things can flow. Yeah, but you're connected to water spirits and earth spirits is what I'm getting. But you need to embrace like the chaos in your life. Even like if you go through a situation, don't be, oh, why me? Da -da 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 -da, you know, going off the handle. Embrace the situation and see how can you resolve it instead of trying to figure out why, who, what, when, and where, who did it and and what they should have and what I could have, you know, whatever. See, find a resolution to the situation is what I'm trying to get out, okay? What can I do to make this different, okay? Also, don't be afraid to make mistakes, okay? You messed up that time. Move forward. Guess what? You have to make mistakes in order to be great because so, you know, you know, you know not what to do next time to make it better, right? So just keep moving forward. You may have failed or messed up or embrace it. That's how I'm, just embrace it. I don't even want to call it a failure. That's the reason why I stopped. A mistake, okay? You, you made a mistake or you did something wrong. Embrace that. Learn from that situation and try to find a, a, a peaceful resolution to the situation. And that's going to bring you more inner peace. You're going to be calm. And you're going to be able to put in that energy to keep moving forward instead of, you know, like throwing a towel and you want to give up because you feel like everything happened to you and that it is, that it is. You hear me, collective? But that's what spirit is saying. Yeah, and give yourself credit for what you have done. You deserve a pat on the back. Yes. You need to look at the good instead of like what you don't got or what you did wrong or what you don't have, whatever. Learn from this situation. That's what I'm getting. And gain your power back. Gain control of the situation and embrace that chaos. Whatever that is for you. If for somebody you got like, I'm hearing like a lot of voices or something. To quiet them voices, you need to meditate. You need to meditate. Most definitely. But yeah, I guess that's what I have for you guys, okay? You guys, I'm a lady life.